Literally everything that uh, we do for our, our clients at uh, Recent Pregnancy Services is free of service, uh, free of cost to them, and that's only possible because of our fundraisers and various donations throughout the year. But uh, in line with that, uh, Jesus loves the little children. Uh, our center got a call from the chaplain down at Marion Correctional Institute about, about two months ago. Wanted to know if we had anyone who could come and talk to the men about uh, re abortion recovery and victory in Christ. And so, while that's outside of what our normal procedure for the center is, uh, our director, Pam Crank, felt that I should take that invitation and go and talk to the men. So in the end of September, I went down there. I was one of four speakers, had about 10 minutes, and had a chance to answer one or two questions. And that was it. Well, I got a call two weeks later asking if I could come back to the end of October because the inmates wanted me to come and be the only speaker and talk more about abortion recovery. So I did, and I had the opportunity to speak to them for about a half hour, had over a half hour of Q&A from these men. And one gentleman stood up and he said, Sir, he said, I take from what you have just told us that even in the case of rape, you would not recommend an abortion? And my answer to him, and I had to really quick say, oh Lord, I said, this is, this is a time bomb. Yeah. So I said to him, I said, well, sir, you know, it always amazes me where we go in response to rape. I have a question for you. Please tell me what that child forming in that womb did to deserve being killed. For all life is a gift from God. The guy got up and walked out. I assume he didn't like the answer. But one after other of the guys that stood up thanked me for that answer. The chaplain said, boy, was I praying because I don't know what I would have told him. And so God brings to us this opportunity. We have uh, our primary goal, of course, is to reach the abortion-minded. And you'll begin noticing billboards around uh, the county. Uh, there's one on the square downtown, uh, one right across the street before the underpass heading east on 4th. Uh, our new location will be on, on uh, 1560 West 4th, which is the old Kissinger building. And it's right across from the Lazy Boy place. Now, we hope to be moving. Uh, we've been hoping to move for about a month now. But when you have volunteers, uh, Bless the Lord, uh, he brought a guy that wanted to oversee the whole renovation project, and he brought on board with him all the men that worked with him as, as a team over 50 years ago. And they've been plumbers and carpenters and electricians and you name it, and uh, it's amazing what God has done and all the different ones who have made it possible. And shortly after our place is open, we're going to be making an open house, and we would love for you to come and see what your prayers and your gifts have accomplished. I will, for the first time, not have to give up my office when there's a mentor dad there to see a client. Uh, right now, my office is the only room. Uh, sometimes the mentor moms run out of rooms when the nurses need one, so we're going to have everybody, we'll have plenty of rooms to see what has to be done. I can work while they're seeing a client, and, and God is beginning to bless. We'll bring everything together. Our boutique over at uh, Free Methodist Church will be moved right into the building to make it much more accessible to our clients. And so we trust that you will be continuing to pray for us, and thank you for your willingness to participate this way. And we will continue to pray for God's blessing on your ministry. Thank you so much.